Hi, this is the Kimco Downtown 300i and I'm going to cover off how to change the oil. The first step to changing the oil is to bring the engine up to a bit of a warm temperature by running it for a couple of minutes. Now I'm going to begin removing the oil. First step is put the bike on the center stand. You need to do this because the drain plugs are hidden behind the center stand. And put a a catch basin underneath to gather up the oil as it drains out. Underneath the bike are two drain plugs. One of them is for the oil filter, which is an oil pre-filter that is washable and reusable, and the other one is the drain plug for the engine oil. There's one plug out. And there's the other plug. So the silver plug is for the, the engine oil itself, and then the black plug is for the reusable oil filter, and I'll be pulling that out as soon as the oil's finished draining. Get the pre-filter out, just reach in carefully with a pair of needle nose pliers and it pulls right out. And as you can see it's a fairly long screen and it's reusable, no need to replace it. So I've just cleaned this and I found no chunks of metal or, or nothing on it. So it looks pretty good and I'm going to put it back in. They've done a nice design in that it, it goes in either way. Both ends are the same. So you can just put it back in. And then put the drain plug back on. Be sure and make sure that this O-ring is down towards the, towards the nut of this before you put it in. And now that it's finished dripping, I'm going to reinstall the drain plug. Now to do the oil filter, which is hidden on the underside of the engine over here. And you're going to need a few extra things for this. First you're going to need is an oil filter to replace the, the one you're changing. And then you're going to need a 24 millimeter socket because it's a very large thing that, that we're undoing. So the oil filter is located right here under this little cover and I'm going to remove that. And I put the, put the oil pan underneath because there's going to be a lot of oil f flowing out in a second here. And there's a little spring in there you'd want to make sure you don't get lost. Now to reach in with my fingers and pull out the oil filter, which is right here. So there's a hole that goes to the top and the bottom engages the spring on the cover. Now I'm going to put in the, the new oil filter. So black o-ring goes up and nice thing is it does stay there on its own and I'm just going to give this a wipe with a paper towel to get the old oil out of it. There we go, it's fairly clean and I'll put it back in. Okay, so now I'm going to drain the transmission fluid. So I've got a filler, nut, a filler nut here and a drain plug back here. Now the drain plug is in line with the wheel and there's a very good chance that I'm going to get oil on the wheel. So what I've done is I've just put newspaper on the wheel to protect it. And now I'll remove the nut. Undo it. 
and exactly as I thought. It drains right onto the wheel and on the ground. You can't catch it with the pan unless you hold the pan up like this. The manual says to turn the wheel slowly to get the oil to flow out a little better, so that's what we're going to do now. This is pretty thick oil, so it takes a long time to drain out. So while I'm waiting for the transmission to drain, I'm going to add the motor oil. Now, according to the book here, it calls for 5W50. And that's a kind of motor oil that I can't get around here. But the chart does say what kind of alternatives, and for the temperature range I'm in, from 0 to 40 degrees, the 10W40 works okay according to their chart. So I'm going to use this Spectro 10W40 and I'll put that in. So the way to put the oil in is through the dipstick hole here and that's kind of hard to get to. So I'm going to use this measuring and filler device so I can get in the exact amount of oil and get it exactly where I need it. Okay, so I'm going to add, uh, the book says to put in 1.3 liters so what I'm going to do is I'm going to put in half of that because this won't go quite to 1.3. So right now I'm going to add 0.6 of a liter and then I'll come back and I'll add 0.7 after this is in. Okay, now that it's finished dripping, I'm going to reinstall the drain bolt for the transmission. And this is soft aluminum, so don't, don't put too much torque on it. Okay, so now I'm going to put in the gear lubricant. Now, the hole is very small on the back of the transmission. So what I've done is I've measured out exactly how much I need in this little cup and I'm going to put it into this empty bottle that has a, a narrow nozzle on the end and then I'm going to use that to squirt in the oil into the very tiny hole. Okay, so I've got the, the 0.23 of a liter of oil in this jug and now I'm going to squirt it into this tiny little hole located on the side. Okay, so I'm done filling and I'm going to pull the bottle out and put and put the filler plug back in. There, done. Okay, now that the oil is in, I'm going to start the engine and let it run for a minute. Well, not a minute, but a few seconds, and then I'll check the oil level again. <laughs> Now I'll check the oil level. Okay, so I've uh, finished adding oil and we're just below full and I'm going to call this done.